Hi everyone, this is Anthony from Level Up Your Teaching. This is a second video of our Redublox video series, and today we're going to create some content. In other words, we're going to create a post and enrich it with different types of media like pictures, videos, and other amazing things. If you would like to sharpen your Redublox skills, make sure you watch until the end of the video, and without further ado, let's go! The first thing that you want to do is go to the left hand side, click post and add new to create our first post. At the top of the screen, we can put a title to our post. Let's call it Welcome Post. Now right below you will see that we have two different options. We can either start typing something or choose a block. For now, we're going to start typing something. Let's type something like Welcome to our first Level up your teaching post. Now, there are two choices. If you want to continue typing, click Shift Enter, which will take you to the next line. If you want to create a new block though, you have to click Enter. And as you can see now, the plus icon is showing up again on the right hand side. Let's go on and click there. By clicking there, it will bring up the block window. And here you can choose different types of blocks, whether it's paragraph, a heading, or a quote, you can choose whatever you want. Whatever WordPress offers, in other words. Let's go on and spice things up by adding an image to our blog. We're going to upload an image from my computer, so let's go on and click Upload. So here we got our window to navigate our computer or laptop and find the picture we want. Let's upload one picture from my YouTube channel. Why don't we choose the one about EduBlogs, which was really nice. So here it is, you see, that was pretty easy. You can actually make the picture smaller or bigger by going to the edges and dragging inside or outside. Another thing that we could do is have image and text side by side. So let's go on and click media and text to do that. Now you can see that on the left hand side we can add media. We're going to add a picture, but generally speaking you can add whatever type of media you want. Let's go on and click the level up your teaching logo. Now you will see that it shows up on the left hand side. On the right hand side now we're going to type something. And why don't we type, please subscribe to my channel, and if you do, thank you very much. So, lots of things are happening to our blog so far. We got images, we got text and images, but what we don't have is video. So, let's go on and now type video in our blog finder. Again, a few different options. You can choose video, which will let you upload a video from your own computer or laptop, or you can choose YouTube or Vimeo, where you can put a URL of that video you wanna choose and embed it directly into your blog. This is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna embed one of my videos, one of my YouTube videos. So here it is, very easy as you can see, and it plays right away just by clicking on it. So that's it more or less. Now that we got most of our content, there is one more thing that I'd like to show you. And this is categories. Categories is your way to organize your blog and make sure that people coming to your blog can find your posts quite easily. Here you can see that we only got uncategorized because we haven't created any. Well, let's go on and create a new category and call it Tech for Teachers. Then click Add New Category to add it, and you can see that it shows up right above Uncategorized. So, a few more things. We can save it as a draft to make sure that we have that file and we don't lose it. And now we can even preview our post, and we can even choose how we would like to preview it. Would you like to preview it in desktop mode, tablet, which as you can see makes the screen considerably smaller, or mobile, which does that even more. Uh, let's go on and click desktop and even preview it in a new tab, which will take us 
into the actual website. And look at that. Doesn't it look professional already? In very simple steps, we've actually created our first blog post. So this is it. We're now ready to publish our first post. Go on and click the blue publish button to get your post published. Now, as you can see, you can even copy the link to share it with your friends or students and you can view the post if you would like to go through the post again and maybe check for some mistakes. So, we just finished our second Edublox video. Thank you very much and let's go for a quick recap. Many thanks for watching the second video of my Edublox video series. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe so that you get notified of the third video when it comes out. Once again, thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one.